Hey, hello, I'm Ragnar Heil. I'm a channel account manager at Quest Software here in Central Europe. And in the next few minutes, I would like to show how to do a pre migration analysis in case you want to migrate a SharePoint on premise environment to SharePoint Online into the intelligent workplace, or you want to migrate a file share to another workplace, or you just want to move a modern SharePoint site from one tenant to another tenant. And the tool of all choice to do the premium creation analysis, even for SharePoint or for file shares, is called Quest Pathologics Essentials for Office 65. And here I've already created a SharePoint site. It's our Mark 8 project. And here I can just right click and go on premium creation analysis. And then I can see the source and I can, I can also paste here the, the target tenant. And Now I can specify if I want to just analyze every kind of sites, like sites templates, sites features, web parts, master pages, or including also the analysis of lists. And I can also analyze the items and check out if there's some, some blocked file extensions or the file path length is just too long and so on. And here I can generate a script or schedule my pre migration analysis, but I just want to run it right now. Now let me jump into the Excel file, which we have just created. Here I can get a get general overview by the site URL, last modified date, the templates um, number, if custom features are used. And here I see yes. So here I might run into issues but there are no custom web parts. There are no workflows, no site, no large list, no custom master pages, no unique permissions. And if I dive a little bit deeper, I go into the templates. I see all different kinds of templates which are used in every single page. Going, getting deeper into the uh, feature set, I can see that maybe there are going to be some issues around the SharePoint recommendations. And uh, if I look into the web parts, there is nothing happening here, no workflows and list analysis. I can see that everything looks pretty good. So, so no complaints here around the file sizes and no complaints around checked out files or any other things. Going a bit more deeper on a content detail level where I look into each file, I can see that also the file path lengths and the check for block file extensions look pretty good. So everything here seems to be ready for a migration. I was also creating a new report for file share analysts. And here I can see that I don't have information around web parts and so on, but it goes very deep into the uh, file summary. And here I can see that I have files which have special German umlauts or special characters like a hashtag. And here there are some invalid characters. So before I can start my uh, migration of file shares into OneDrive, SharePoint or Teams, I first have to fix these umlauts and special characters. Otherwise I would run into issues. So this kind of analysis is very helpful indeed. So let's assume now that you've done the pre migration analysis with file shares and SharePoint. Maybe you've also done the migration from, from SharePoint on premises or from file shares into the modern workplace or from one tenant to the other tenant. And now you want to find out if all the files are already in your target tenant and have the same amount of files like in the source tenant. And here Essentials is offering a nice module called Live Compare. And here I'm going to specify the site URL and the source and the target tenant, also the document library. Here in my case, it's called documents. And I'm going to do a live comparison here and click on it. And then I can check uh, um, if I want to also check memberships and so on and permissions. I'm going to do the whole check now, not only content. And in a very few seconds, you can see the differences between the source and the target tenant. So here I can see that the source tenant has got 81 files, the, the target tenant has got 80 files. So yeah, obviously one single document might be missing. And here I'm clicking on, on uh, content. And here I can see, ah, the Mark 8 elevator pitch is missing. And using the copy from left to right, I can just compensate it and now migrate it directly um, into the target tenant. And now both tenants would have the same amount of documents, which are 81. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this useful and you can find more about Essentials for Office 65 at quest.com. Thank you.